All of us here thinking about our friend Diane. She once said about meeting Mike Nichols, I knew before he spoke, I knew before he was walking across the room, life was changing. He had an impact on so many of us. Mike Nichols came to America at the age of seven and noticed it was different here. Once saying American society to me and my brother was thrilling because first of all, the food made noise. We were so excited about Rice Krispies and Coca-Cola, we had only silent food in the old country and we loved listening to our lunch and breakfast. He would grow up here, first medical school before finding his true calling, comedy first and behind the camera. His lens trained on the American culture he embraced as a boy and young man. There was the young man on screen, Benjamin Braddock. Would you like me to seduce you? What? The voice of so many angst-ridden young men, uncertain about love, about their future. There are too many indelible moments to count. A young Meryl Streep, unimpressed with a young Jack Nicholson in Heartburn. Meryl Streep once said of Nichols, he's responsible for igniting people's dreams. And who can forget Nathan Lane and Robin Williams exploring their identities? The more complex the relationship, the more interesting to Mike Nichols. Husbands and wives then, and now. Seduction in the age of the internet. You see, she's exactly like me when Mothers I and daughters. Shirley MacLaine and Meryl Streep in Postcards from the Edge. My dear, I am still here. He took on politics in primary colors, Charlie Wilson's war. Always taking us on a journey, never quite knowing where we would turn next. Here at ABC tonight, we celebrate him, a dear friend to us, and we remember his family tonight. Our thoughts with Mike's children, his grandchildren, and with Diane. We hope you have a good evening. Good night.